Hammerhead sharks are fascinating creatures, and looking at the shape of their heads just leaves me asking why. I hope to give you an answer to that question, as well as other exciting information about them. There are nine species of hammerheads found in temperate and tropical waters along coastlines and continental shelves worldwide. Occasionally, they can be found in deep water. They live between 25 to 35 years of age and range in size from the winghead shark, which is the smallest at around 4 feet, to the great hammerhead, which can reach around 11 feet in length. The longest great hammerhead recorded was a whopping 20 feet. Their specific prey depends upon the species, but generally consists of cephalopods, crustaceans and fish, including other sharks. They are, as you would expect of sharks, carnivores. However, the bonnet head shark has been shown to be the exception to the rule. Bonnet heads live off both coasts of America and only grow to around 3 feet in length. They feed on small squid and crustaceans found within the fronds of seagrass meadows and also the seagrass itself. It is the first shark omnivore discovered. Around 60% of its gut content was found to be plant material and it can also digest and assimilate the nutrients found in it. Most species of hammerhead shark feed in relatively shallow coastal waters with the occasional trip into brackish bays and estuaries. Some species, such as the scalloped hammerhead, live near the shore during the day and hunt offshore at night, where they dive to depths of 800 metres or more, where the temperature falls to as low as 5 degrees Celsius. To conserve heat, they stop the flow of water through their gills, essentially holding their breath as they dive. The hammerhead's mouth is smaller than most other large sharks and can't open as wide. Their teeth have smooth edges with a distinct notch on the distal side of the tooth and range between one quarter to three quarters of an inch in length. The teeth in the front of the mouths are small, sharp and triangle shaped and further back they are larger, flat and broader. An exception to this is the teeth of the great hammerhead which are serrated. Great hammerheads have 17 rows of teeth on each side of the upper jaw, with 24 to 37 teeth in each row, and just 2 or 3 teeth in the centre. The lower jaw again has 17 rows on each side, but only has 16 or 17 teeth on each side, and between 1 and 3 in the middle. They specialise in hunting and eating large stingrays and some members of this species have been found to have dozens of stingray barbs embedded in their flesh. So why is it that they have that amazing head? The head is flattened dorsoventrally and extended, giving it the shape of a hammer. The correct term for each one of the two projections is cephalofoil. Interestingly, bonnet head sharks are the only hammerheads to show a difference between male and females in their head morphology as they become adults. Females have a broadly rounded head, whereas males possess a distinct bulge along the anterior margin of the cephalofoil. Scientists have long been interested in the function of this strangely shaped head. It was thought that the cephalofoils would produce lift as the shark moved through the water, so aiding in buoyancy. Hammerheads, like all sharks, have no swim bladder, so this sounded like a plausible reason. However, studies have shown that when they are swimming, it does not generate lift, that is, until they tilt it up or down. It then enables them to rapidly ascend or descend, and accounts for why hammerheads are much more manoeuvrable than a typical shark. The scientists also found that the cephalofoils produce a lot of drag. The winged shark, which has the largest cephalofoils, has 20 to 40 times the amount of drag as a typical fish. But the cephalofoils do give the hammerheads an advantage when searching for food. The eyes of the shark are positioned at the tips of the cephalofoils, and a study found that this gives them significantly enhanced stereoscopic vision. This is where the visual fields of the two eyes overlap, providing a three-dimensional image. This enables the shark to judge distance, which develops their ability to have true depth perception which is crucial for judging distance when catching prey. The study showed that typical pointy-nosed sharks, such as lemon sharks, possessed only 10 degrees of overlap, whereas the eyes of scalloped hammerheads overlap by 32 degrees, and that of the winged head sharks, whose cephalofoil is almost their body length, has an overlap of 48 degrees. 
When the study factored in the shark's eye and head movements, it was found that the forward binocular overlaps increased to an amazing 69 degrees for the scalloped hammerheads and 52 degrees for the bonnet heads. The study also showed that the bonnet head and scalloped hammerheads have an excellent stereo rear view, giving them a full 360 degree view of the world. They are able to see above, below and behind them at all times, which is a great advantage when hunting for prey and evading predators. The hammer shaped head may also be used to manipulate their prey. Great hammerhead sharks have been seen using their cephalofoil to stun and pin stingrays and eagle rays to the seafloor. The great hammerheads then rotate their body so that they can bite off the pectoral fins. Like all sharks, hammerheads have electroreceptors called ampullae of Lorenzini. These sensors can detect weak electric emissions from other animals, even when buried in sand. As hammerheads have broad, flat heads, the ampullae are spread over a greater surface area, giving the sharks the ability to cover more ground and sense its prey easier. Hammerheads are very flexible and can turn and pivot easily and with great speed, giving them fantastic manoeuvring capabilities, which are much better than other sharks. When it comes to reproduction, a fair amount is known about some species, such as the great hammerhead and scalloped hammerhead, than others. The great hammerhead reaches sexual maturity at around 8 to 9 years of age. After a gestation period of 11 months, the female gives birth to anything between 6 to 33 pups. Birth occurs during the spring and summer months in protected, shallow coastal waters. The pups are 50 to 70 centimetres in length and receive no parental care. But the pups remain in these protected waters until they are a bit bigger when they then move into deeper offshore waters. Hammerhead sharks are viviparous, which means that the developing embryo first relies on the yolk sac for nutrition, and once hatched inside the mother's uterus, develop a placental connection similar to a mammal's umbilical cord. And yes, they have a belly button for a few months after birth before it completely heals. In December 2001, at an aquarium in Nebraska, an adult female bonnethead shark gave birth to a normally developed live female pup. The only other bonnetheads in the aquarium were all female. DNA analysis confirmed that the pup had been produced by parthenogenesis, a reproductive strategy that involves the development of a female gamete without fertilization. Hammerhead sharks are known to migrate, for example, Great hammerheads are found in locations near the equator in the winter, but migrate towards the poles in the summer months in search of cooler water. Some hammerhead sharks swim in schools of up to 100 during the day, becoming solitary hunters at night. However, scalloped hammerheads form schools of up to 700 and split off into smaller groups to hunt at night. The reasons for this schooling behavior is unclear, but in the case of scalloped hammerheads, the schools are only made up of females and it is believed that this offers them some protection from males who bombard lone females. Swimming with other females enables them to select which males are allowed close. Sadly, five out of the nine species of hammerhead sharks are considered by the IUCN to be critically endangered. That is, they are facing an extremely high risk of extinction in the wild. All except the Carolina have a decreasing population. It's really scary stuff. This is happening for a number of reasons. Like many sharks, hammerheads, particularly great hammerheads, are prized for their fins to be used in shark fin soup and are subjected to the practice of shark finning, whereby the fin is sliced off and the body thrown back into the sea. Here the shark bleeds and suffocates to death. They also get tangled in fishing nets very easily due to their lovely cephalofoils. Their nearshore nursery grounds and migratory routes are at risk due to human activities such as habitat loss and pollution and some recreational anglers fish for them. However, many divers wish to dive with them, something that I would love to do. This provides a substantial income to coastal communities and raises awareness of the issues facing these amazing creatures and incentivizes and even funds conservation initiatives. 
Such tourism does, however, need to be managed very carefully so as not to cause additional stress on the sharks. There are, as always, many good people doing all they can to protect these bizarre-looking sharks. Let's hope they prevail so future generations can marvel at their beauty. If you have enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe and share with your like-minded friends. And don't forget to put your notifications on.